Picture this, a quiet suburb of Stuttgart, Germany, known as Zuffenhausen. This isn't just any place, it's the birthplace of the Porsche 911, the place where the first model rolled off the line back in 1964. It's the very same place where every single new 911 has been crafted since its debut at the Frankfurt International Motor Show a year earlier. Yes, that's right, every Porsche 911 that has ever seen the light of day comes from the same factory complex at the heart of Porsche's headquarters. How's that for a heritage? And we're about to delve into it right here on Ignition Life. Today, we're jumping into the history of the Porsche 911, a true legend in the car universe. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what makes this model a classic, but also how it's evolved to stay on top and what the future holds for this timeless automobile. Like all great stories, the Porsche 911 saga begins with a dream. Back in 1963, Ferdinand Butzi Porsche envisioned a successor to the beloved Porsche 356. His brainchild, the Porsche 911, was showcased at the Frankfurt Motor Show and ignited a new chapter in the automotive world. Powered by an air-cooled six-cylinder rear-mounted engine churning out 130 horsepower, this design, with its signature sloping rear, was the first of many that would come to define the 911 over the years. The original 911 didn't rest on its laurels. Its legacy was expanded in 1967 with the birth of the 911 Targa. The Targa stood out with its unique design, a stainless steel roll bar, removable roof panel and retractable rear window. This was Porsche's ingenious solution to combine the open-air thrill of a convertible with the structural integrity and safety of a coupe. The Targa wasn't just a variant, it was an entire genre within the 911 family. The dawn of the 1970s marked another key milestone for the 911. The engine saw an upgrade, now ranging from 2.2 to 2.4 litres, and the horsepower was bumped up to a respectable 190. But the real jewel of the 70s was the 911 Carrera RS. Porsche took the already incredible 911 and further refined it into a leaner, meaner machine. The Carrera RS was a testament to Porsche's commitment to driving purity and performance, balancing an increased power output with a reduction in weight. Take a moment to think about aerodynamic features like rear wings, now a standard on sports cars. Do you know where it all started? Yup, you guessed it, it was Porsche who pioneered this innovation. The 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in 1972 was the first production vehicle to proudly display a rear spoiler as part of its design. This marvel of a car, impressively lightweight, tipping the scales at less than a thousand kilograms, was just as quick as it was featherlight. That radical design of the rear wing was a game changer. It created the vital downforce that kept this car glued to the road, making it the most iconic 911 model to many enthusiasts. The distinctive rear wing, affectionately nicknamed Anton Burzel, or Ducktail in English, within the Porsche community, is a moniker that still resonates to this day. The 1980s rolled around and Porsche continued to innovate. The 911 SC and the 3.2 Carrera were introduced, both boasting enhanced engines that pushed the boundaries of performance. The Carrera, with its whale tail spoilers, became an icon of the decade. But the 80s didn't just see the 911 dominate on the streets, it also claimed its crown in the world of motorsport. The legendary 959, Porsche's technological marvel, proved the 911's worth by conquering the gruelling Paris-Dakar rally. The 90s represented yet another era of evolution for the 911. The 911 964 Turbo roared into existence, featuring an all-wheel drive system, a first for the model. As the decade drew to a close, Porsche introduced the 911 993, the last model to house an air-cooled engine. In many ways, the 993 symbolized the end of an era, standing as a testament to the heritage of Porsche while paving the way for the future. Speaking of the future, the new millennium welcomed a significant shift for the Porsche 911. The 911 996 marked the start of a new era, trading its air-cooled engines for water-cooled ones. The model was more aerodynamic and boasted a revamped plush interior, but Porsche didn't stop there. The 911 continued to evolve, with the 997 and 991 models bringing in a suite of advanced technology, improved performance metrics and unique design cues, all while maintaining the unmistakable charm that made the 911 a legend. Fast forward to 2018 and we find the latest evolution of this automotive marvel, the 8th generation Porsche 911 992. This latest iteration pays homage to the history of the 911, while simultaneously pushing the model into the future. It's equipped with features like wet mode for improved handling on slippery surfaces, and a meticulously crafted interior that blends luxury, technology and comfort. The range includes the Carrera, Carrera S, Carrera 4S and the track-bred GT3, each with its unique appeal. The GT3, for instance, is a tribute to Porsche's racing heritage. It's powered by a naturally aspirated 4.0-litre flat-six engine, producing an impressive 502 horsepower. 
A significant feature of the GT3 is its swan neck rear wing, a design inspired directly from motorsports to improve downforce and aerodynamics. The Carrera S, on the other hand, blends performance with everyday usability. Its twin-turbo 3.0-litre flat-six engine is good for 443 horsepower, and it's coupled with an 8-speed PDK transmission for seamless shifts. Let's hit fast forward and take a pit stop in 2004. Porsche once again revved up the 911's design with the unveiling of the Porsche Type 997. The car's classic silhouette was intact, but its refined, race-inspired appearance was praised by enthusiasts and critics alike. The power under the hood was no joke either. The base Carrera sported a 3.6-litre engine belting out 325 horsepower, and the Carrera S model's 3.8-litre six-cylinder engine boasted a striking 355 horsepower. Three years later, at the 2006 Geneva Auto Show, Porsche introduced the 911 Turbo. It was the first gasoline-powered production car to feature a turbocharger with variable turbine geometry, an innovative technology that adjusted the turbo's aspect ratio as driving conditions changed. In 2008, the 911 Type 997 underwent another update. The engineers further improved the car's fuel efficiency, introducing direct fuel injection and a dual-clutch transmission. The Porsche 911 Type 997 left a lasting legacy in the Porsche history books, a legacy that was ready to be built upon by its successor, the 911 Type 991. The Porsche Type 991, a revolutionary step forward, retained the teardrop shape synonymous with the 911 brand, but with unique design enhancements. The roofline tapered more gradually towards the rear, and the front wings were placed higher than the lid. The result was a sleeker, more streamlined silhouette, signalling a new era for the iconic car. Fast forward to 2011, and Porsche debuted the base models for the 991 series, the Carrera and Carrera S. The Carrera came equipped with a 3.4-litre boxer engine delivering a substantial 345 horsepower. In contrast, the Carrera S packed a punch with its 3.8-litre engine, delivering an impressive 395 horsepower. We now shift gears to the 2015 introduction of the Porsche 911 Carrera, which set a new milestone in Porsche's long-standing history of innovation. A dramatic shift took place in the Porsche factory that year. The familiar growl of naturally aspirated engines was replaced by the whine of turbochargers as Porsche launched their first turbocharged Carrera models. A milestone indeed, but also a point of contention among car enthusiasts. The new 3.0-litre twin-turbocharged six-cylinder flat engine developed 370 horsepower in the 911 Carrera and 420 horsepower in the 911 Carrera S. Not just more powerful, but the introduction of turbocharging allowed for significantly lower fuel consumption. Some purists claimed the move to turbocharging diluted the very essence of the 911, while others praised the increase in power and torque, offering performance readily available at any engine speed. This leap into turbocharging marked a new era for the brand, signalling their commitment to meeting stringent emission standards while still maintaining the 911's status as a benchmark sports car. This transformation has transformed the 911 from a rev to the sky to get performance machine to a just put your foot down in any gear affair. Is it better? Is it worse? Well, that depends on what you enjoy in a sports car. Further changes came in the form of technological advancements. The 991.2 range brought with it updated Porsche Active Suspension Management, or PASM, an optional rear axle steering, enhancing both its dynamic capabilities and everyday usability. Following the lineage of its predecessors, the Porsche 911 Type 992 made its debut in late 2018, bringing with it a wave of updates and advancements. A fitting tribute to the first 911 that graced the roads over 50 years ago, it was unveiled in Los Angeles on the eve of the LA Auto Show, a nod to the 911's enduring popularity in California. The 992 retains the classic 911 silhouette, a design so timeless, so immediately recognizable, that it's become an icon in its own right. But look closely and you'll notice the redefined lines, the wider wings, the more pronounced wheel housings accommodating up to 21-inch wheels at the rear, a first in 911 Carrera history. Even with these contemporary touches, it stays faithful to the Porsche ethos, combining form and function in perfect harmony. Under the hood, the 992 carries forward the 3.0-litre twin-turbocharged flat-6 from the 991.2, but in a reworked version, providing increased power, efficiency and responsiveness. In the Carrera S and 4S models, this engine produces a stunning 443 horsepower, a significant bump from the previous generation. This allows these models to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds, demonstrating the sheer power that this iconic car now possesses. 
But the 992 isn't just about power and speed, it's about embracing technology while maintaining the raw emotion of driving. With the newly designed Porsche Advanced Cockpit, the traditional instrument cluster is replaced by screens, offering a multitude of information at the driver's fingertips while still maintaining the essential analog tachometer. An industry-first wet mode detects water on the road and preconditions the stability control and anti-lock brake systems accordingly, proving that the 911 isn't just a fair-weather sports car. Since its debut, Porsche has expanded the 992 lineup with models like the Carrera T, Turbo, Turbo S, and the Track Focus GT3, with each model offering a unique take on the 911 experience, and each one carrying that unmistakable Porsche DNA. Whether it's the unmistakable growl of the engine, the stunning design, or the sheer joy of driving it, the Porsche 911 Type 992 continues to captivate us all, proving yet again that the spirit of the original 911 is very much alive and thriving in the 21st century. It's the result of over five decades of meticulous refinement, a testament to Porsche's relentless pursuit of perfection, and proof, if any were needed, of why the 911 remains one of the world's most beloved sports cars. This relentless evolution continues to this day, with Porsche releasing newer, more refined versions of the 911, always pushing boundaries and always keeping the 911 at the forefront of sports car innovation. As we approach 2024, the 911 remains the quintessential sports car, a testament to Porsche's unwavering commitment to performance and progress. There's a reason why the Porsche 911 is celebrated as one of the greatest sports cars of all time and why it continues to evolve, remaining an icon of the automotive industry. This vehicle doesn't rest on its laurels. It's an automotive marvel that continues to shape the industry, inspiring other manufacturers to push their boundaries. With every new iteration, the Porsche 911 continues to encapsulate the spirit of driving enthusiasm. This isn't just a car, but an embodiment of passion, history and innovation. For almost six decades, the Porsche 911 has played a pivotal role in shaping the world of automotive performance. Its impact extends beyond the racetrack and the open road, seeping into popular culture and defining what we think of when we hear the term sports car. And that wraps up our journey through the ages with the iconic Porsche 911. Remember, life's too short for boring cars, so stay revved up and ready to embrace the thrill of the drive with Ignition Life.